long time no talk. I have been doing a lot of college work and I've had other commitments, like drama club commitments, so I haven't been able to come on here and make a video. Um, but today I'm doing another like little tag video. It's a bit like the 50 questions video that I did. This one is going into more detail about my style and my fashion choices and my hair and makeup and skin and nails and that kind of thing. So it's all basically just about style. Um, and the title um, is pretty catchy, it's You Need To Do It Laura Style, um, but you can just do whatever you want, it's just like, this question's about style, hopefully the questions will be down here, like in the link, a link to a note below, um, I will post it probably in a twit longer and then it will be linked below, I don't know yet, um, but yeah, this video is going to be quite random, but I've actually typed the questions so they're on my computer because, um, my setup's really weird, hang on, I'll show you through this little mirror and um, you can see that I have my laptop just here and I have my keyboard um, stand and then the questions you can't really see them but they're up here so it, I've made the note really short so I can actually see it over the keyboard stand so yep so let's get started I'm just gonna move it in a little bit closer so I can just see the questions because I'm not wearing my glasses which I have my eyes tested and I need new glasses so I'll hopefully show you them when they come. Um, so here we go. The first question is, where is your favourite place to get clothes? Uh, my favourite place to get clothes is probably Primark because they do some really good clothes. I've got quite a few really nice clothes from Primark. Um, I also like New Look. And I also like charity shops because they do quite a few like vintage things as well. And I love what they do um, in charity shops. There's, I found some really cool stuff, which I will show you. There is one thing that I got in a charity shop, which I couldn't believe it was there, so I will show you that um, when the question arises. And um, I do like to get my clothes from all different places, not just from one place. And also, I know this sounds really weird, but there's a range called Florence and Fred. Like, that's at Tesco. But I do like it, I really do, because they do have some nice clothes there. So, don't diss, like, supermarkets. Because you can say, oh, no, their clothes are, like, really shit, but I really like them. But, yeah, I know I said a naughty word, but, yeah, okay. Um, the next question is, what is your monthly fashion spend? I don't really go shopping that often, to be honest, because, you know, I hardly ever go shopping. I mean, um, I haven't really got a monthly fashion spend. I mean, I went to Lakeside with my dad and I spent quite a bit of money getting clothes. Um, but I don't really go shopping very often. And so my monthly fashion spend, not really a lot. I'd probably say about 20 quid at the most. And the maximum will probably be, I, I don't know, um, so about 20 as the maximum, so yeah. Um, who are your style icons and how have they influenced your style? I have got quite a few style icons. My first style icon ever was when I was younger and it was Kylie Minogue um, when I was like 7. She was my style icon. She had some really cool stage outfits and that kind of incorporated that into my style through like accessories and that because I had some space she did a space age for a fever tour I think it was fever I'm not sure what it was called disco fever um but she had this like space age outfit and she looked amazing so I had some silver bangles all up my arm to kind of replicate that and I had a Kylie doll when I was little don't judge me guys um but my style icons now are pixie lot Cheryl Cole um, Jay Thurwell, Jesse Nelson, Leanne Pinnock and Perry Edwards, who are Little Mix. Um, Pixie Lot has like a really vintage style. She has like the little collars and the cat ears and she looks really cute. I have actually started to wear things with cats on more and more often because of her. Cheryl Cole looks really glamorous a lot of the time and so I try and be like, I love her makeup and that so I try to do a bit like hers but I'm not doing a inspired makeup tutorial of Cheryl Cole because I couldn't do that because she's far too pretty and I will probably mess it up somehow. Um, Little Mix are probably my biggest style icons right now. Um, for Jade Thurwall, I've started wearing bows more. Bows and braces. I recently bought myself a pair of braces and I love them but I also have started to wear bows more often, like on anything, even my nails, on my um, shirts, on my leggings. Well, actually, no, not on my leggings because I have moustaches. That's Jessie. Jessie wears leggings quite a lot and I've started to wear leggings more often because I used to wear leggings but I've stopped. And I don't really wear beanie hats but I've started to wear this more often. This is from New Look and it's a little beanie style headband. Um, Leanne wears the hats and I started to wear hats more often. 
And Perry wears a little hippie headband and I am going to be getting a headband from Primark <laughs> and it's like got little daisies on it and I'm going to be going to get it because I absolutely love it and I've started to wear like really random stuff now so yeah and um, I've started to be more like sort of myself in my own style but like trying to copy them slightly. Okay, next question. What is your trademark when it comes to fashion? I don't really have a trademark. I'd say my trademark... <sighs> this is hard. I'd probably say my trademark is colour because I wear a lot of colour. Um, but I also like to wear a lot of denim shorts. Um, so that could be my big thing when I'm older. Um, or I like to wear really crazy things on my nails sometimes. Or do really crazy makeup or... Um, I don't really have a trademark. I probably say my, my trademark could be. Oh, let's think. Let's have a rethink. Actually, my my trademark could be the denim shorts. I don't know because I do have a pair here because I do love denim shorts. Wow. Um, I love to wear denim shorts. Like layering is my thing. I love to layer clothes. So, but I'm not the only one who does that. So it's not really the trademark. Okay. What do you normally wear as an everyday thing? Uh, what do you normally wear is a question. The thing that I normally wear is what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing a hoodie, which I will turn around just to show you. It's my Levers hoodie because I feel like it. And I'm just going to have to kneel up. Oh, this is uncomfortable. Um, but underneath this, I'm wearing a Born in the USA t-shirt. This is from Primark. And I'm wearing my trackies and socks. <laughs> And I also wear trainers a lot. I just I just really dress it down. I don't really go all out or wear something really crazy or I just want to be comfortable. I think practicality is more important than how you look. To be honest, and the lighting's gone a bit down. That's better. Like that's been really bugging me. Um okay, the next question. What are your favourite clothes? My favourite clothes, I don't really have a lot of favourite clothes. But I do have a few examples here, like this shirt is something that's really special because I wore it at a gig once and it's really cute. I don't know where I got it from, so let's see, does it give any indication of what I actually got it from? No it doesn't. So I don't know where I got this from, but I absolutely love it. It's like a one shoulder thing, like you can wear it over one shoulder. I love one shoulder shirts. That could be my trademark, one shoulder shirts. How does that even... Oh yeah, um, I have some long sleeve shirts. I really like to wear. I like to wear things with animal prints on them. I love pandas. I love anything cute. I love anything adorable. This is from Cherokee, which was the kids range, which is a kids range at Tesco. So yeah, <laughs> um, and I also have a favorite dress here, which I don't know if I have to mention, but this is my favorite dress. I got this on holiday in Portugal, and it really does represent me. It has some different coloured spots all over it. It looks like a 50s or 60s dress. It's like orange, blue, there's some pink on it, green and black, and it's a white dress. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it so, so much. And when summer comes around, eventually, I will start wearing it. Because it has been snowing today. It's March and it's snowing. What the... Uh, yeah, I decided to... Because I recently downloaded a little bleeper app for my iPod. And I can't stop playing with it. I can't go, go and I'm having loads of fun with it. It's so much fun. Um, yeah, I had sure love using that. So they're my kind of favourite clothes, like just anything cute. But I like have a rock side to me. So yeah. Um, which accessories do you love? I love handbags. Uh, just bags. I, I have a lot of bags. I mean, I really do. This bag was given to me as a freebie. This is April's because um, I modelled for them. I did a um, prom fashion show and I was given this. It's so cool. Um, I have a little Bix bag, which you guys have seen. I use that a lot. I have an I Love Lipsy London bag, which is amazing. Um, I have all kinds of bags, really. <laughs> so I have a lot of like freebie bags and yeah, just that kind of thing. Because I use, I have a lot of bags. So, yep. Um, do you own any fandom shirts or? merch. I do, yes. I do own fandom shirts. Um, I have a wanted, the want the shirt for the wanted, but I haven't got it with me today because I couldn't find it. But I have Little Mix t-shirt. 
This is from Primark, and this is actually from the kids range in Primark. This is a size 12 to 13. It is tight fitting on me because I like tight fitting. And it is so cool. It does actually fit. And in the back, it says LM. But yeah, I got this from Primark, and I love Primark. And they did a range for Primark, and I was so, I was like screaming when I saw it all. And I was like, I got some bracelets from Primark. I got, I got the bracelets, and I got the shirt. And I also got the bag. So this one's actually got a long at the back. And I wore this on the tour that I went to, the Little Mix DNA tour, which I absolutely loved so much. Um, I also have the Jeremy Caldry scarf, which you guys have seen in the video. And if you haven't seen it, there it is. Jeremy Caldry. I remember wearing this in sociology for my very first sociology lesson. Ever since then, Dave, my sociology tutor, has been like, oh my god, it's the Jeremy Caldry lover. And I'm like, yeah! And he, he, he likes to make a joke out of it, but that's why I like Dave. Um, and I also have this, but that's in the next question. Do you, what is the most embarrassing item in your wardrobe? I have a lot of embarrassing items in my wardrobe. Um, I used to have a Justin Bieber shirt. I mean, what the hell? I used to be obsessed with Justin Bieber, like why um i have no idea but i'm not as obsessed i do like justin bieber but i'm not the biggest fan anymore um i also used to have i'm justin bieber's number one girl t-shirt and i'm just thinking what the hell um and i also have like really random dress skirts like really short skirts that have horrible patterns all over them I have some really random t-shirts and i also have this which it's not embarrassing but some people say to me it is it's an I Love Jedwood t-shirt. It's an authentic t-shirt. This shirt, my auntie went to Ireland for her holiday and I was so jealous. I've always wanted to go to Ireland and I will go to Ireland one day, I swear. Um, but this is an I Love Jedwood t-shirt and she brought me it back from Ireland and, you know, it's really cool. And I absolutely love it. I would love to go to Ireland, but not for the reasons that everyone perceives like they think about. Um... Okay, next few questions about shoes. How many pairs of shoes do you own? <sighs> no idea. Um, I own... I, I really don't know. I think I own... Right, this is just a rough guess. 25? I, I don't know. I think about 25 pairs of shoes. Which isn't loads, but it's enough for me. I mean, I don't want, like, hundreds of pairs of shoes. I mean, I think I'm going to go for a number of, like, 25, 30 that kind of range I really don't know I haven't counted them plus I've got a load of shoes that are too small and need chucking out and I need to I'm going to get a few new ones as well so yeah do you prefer heels or flats Ugh, depends on the occasion if I'm just walking around college I will just wear flats I will just wear my converse or I will wear my baseball boots or whatever I will wear trainers as well I just walk around college and it's comfy because it's comfy and there's a lot of walking around for me to do so I'm transferring between like three different departments so it's kind of crazy um, and then if, if it's a night out I sometimes will wear heels and like quite a lot of the times I wear heels because they're so cool I love heels and yeah um, which is your favorite pair of shoes this is question 12 which is your favorite pair of shoes my favorite pair of shoes I have two uh, the first one's a casual pair these are my converse I don't know if you've seen these but if not here they are they are a little bit dirt mucky, they need a bit of a clean. But yeah, my Converse All Star. Um, these are really, really nice. Uh, they're really comfy and I love them so, so much. They're like dot they've got dots all over them. And I actually have a red spotted bow tie which will match these. So, I'm just gonna put them down there. And then my favourite um, dressy shoes. Um, like, I got these in a charity shop and I couldn't believe it when I read it and it's they are these boots I mean they are my favorite shoes and they are hang on let me try and zoom in red or dead that's the red or dead symbol I was like what they're red or dead boots because red or dead are quite big it's like a designer brand almost and um, but they're really cool boots they are a size six and they still fit me I'm really really happy about that they are a bit tight though but I love these boots they show off my like tomboy edge or my rockier side plus they're red or dead and i only got these i looked on the internet and these are quite expensive normally but i got them for 15 quid in a charity shop so i was like really happy and i tried to get my dad and to get them and he's like oh wow and he got them and i got home and i read it up and i was like oh my god 
Okay, next question. What to you is a fashion fail? For fashion, for fashion, for fail. Turn into Arkwright, why don't you, Laura? If you don't know who Arkwright is, just Google open all hours. You'll see what I mean. Um, but a fashion fail for me, it's like clashing colours. That's a fashion fail for me. Like green and pink. Just no. Um, I also don't like Uggs. Ugg boots, they just look a bit weird. The only time I like Ugg boots is, or like that kind of shoe, is when you've got a onesie on. Um, but I don't really like Ugg boots much. I don't really like Ugg boots. Um, I don't really like the full on tracksuit, like a full on one. Like a matching hoodie and trousers, which I used to own, and I looked to twit in them, so I, I think that's kind of a fashion fail. There are a lot of fashion fails out there, but they're the main two. Um, when you go to the beach or when you go to the pool, do you prefer to wear a bikini or a swimsuit? Right. Um, it depends where I'm going out of the two. If I'm going to the beach, I'll probably wear a bikini just so that I can like get a tan around my stomach. But if I'm in the pool, I tend to go swimming a lot. So, and if I tend to do a lot of diving, like diving in to the pool, and you know. Um, but I don't really like to wear a bikini because when I dive in, it will hit against my stomach and it slaps the stomach and it hurts. So I prefer to wear a swimsuit. I do actually have a Speedo one or a Slazenger one. I, I have both actually. I have a Speedo. I, I, I don't think it's Speedo. I, I don't know. I don't know. If, don't ask me. I'm not a fashion expert, but I think it's Slazenger. If it is Speedo, I'll be like, okay. I think I have Speedo goggles though. But I don't really wear goggles much when I'm diving because then like the force just... They just get off my face anyway, so <laughs> not much point. So yeah, I prefer to wear a beach at to a beach at the bikini. I prefer to wear a bikini at the beach and a swimsuit at the pool. Get your words right, Lord. What colours do you think suit you? This is question fifteen. Um, my colours that suit me. I was a bridesmaid at my cousin's wedding, and I wore a red dress. Like if I've got the photo. I've got a photo from it. So I will quickly show you if I can really quickly find it. I think. The dress that I wore that day really suited me, and it's right here. Uh, that is the dress that I wore. It's a really nice dress, like a cut off red dress. I think red is a colour that suits me. I've been told that green suits me, which I'm not really sure. And I also think that purple suits me. Because as you can see, I've got this on today. This is a photo that was taken before I went to prom. Um, prom was a fantastic night. This is the dress that I wore to prom. It's like a... It's a purple. It's sort of like this colour, only slightly like more of a satiny finish. And I love this photo so much. Um, but yeah, that was my dress. And I actually did my makeup and my nails on the night. So and everyone was like, oh my god, I love your nails. Oh my god, I love your makeup and that. Which was fantastic. So I think purple and red suit me. And like maybe blue suits me. And blue does suit me, yeah. Um, describe your style in three words. Um, mixed. Strange and not so not this is going to be four words not in one place that's four words but i don't care i like to be a rebel i like to break the rules not in one place because it's very very mixed it's very different it's very individual mixed different individual because one day i might be a total rock chick the next day i might be a total like i don't know totally dressed down the next day i might be like really girly next day i might be a bit of a hippie the next day i might be a bit of a you know, a tomboy or a street kind of person. When I say street, I mean like, you know, hip hop style. The next minute I might be like really girly or glam or blue. I don't even know. Um, but yeah, I, I really don't just stick in one place. Um, what is your signature scent and what made you choose it? Now I've flitted between scents, but my signature scent if I can open the box, I think I've shown you this. Yeah, I probably have. It says "Kiss" by JL Kiss by JLS, and I absolutely love it. The reason I picked this is because I love the smell of it so much. It screams me. It smells quite feminine, but there's like a like a it's almost sort of masculine undertone to it. I don't know why, but I just think it's like it's it's feminine, but there's a masculine undertone to it. Plus, it's amazing. Mmm. I know that JLS are coming out with a new fragrance called Love. I'm hopefully going to get it. And if I don't get it, I'll be like really annoyed. Because it's the same bottle as the Kiss one, but it's gonna it's a pink bottle, so I'm probably gonna get it. Because I wanna try it so badly. Um next question's about makeup. So what is your favourite look? Do you prefer natural or smoky makeup? 
Um, it depends really. If it's a college thing, I sometimes when I go to college I don't wear makeup at all. Um, but I don't really like. I prefer the natural look. If it's a date, then natural. But if you're going on a night out, then go for smoky. Like I like to break the makeup boundaries. Sometimes I'll go natural. Sometimes I'll go smoky. Sometimes I'll just go colourful. Sometimes I'll just go like I don't know. It's really crazy sometimes. I love doing that kind of thing. Um, what are your favourite makeup products that you can't live without? Right, I'm doing a top five here. So the first one is a lip butter. I can't live without this lip butter. This is the Body Shop lip butter. I have three of these. I have one in coconut and I also have one in sheer, sheer butter. This one's in mango. And I am actually wearing this on my lips today, but I'm going to put a bit more on because my lips are a bit dry. Uh huh. Let's see what it looks like. It's a bit messy on the inside, but I love the smell of these. I love the taste. I love how you can rub your lips together and they feel really soft. I, I prefer these over like normal lip balms. I've tried other lip balms and they're just like really, really sticky. They don't moisturize your lips. They're just like a little. I like a lip gloss basically. Um, but I love lip butters and they're just, oh my god, awesome. Okay, the next product I can't live without. I can't live without a powder, like either a powder or especially a powder foundation. This is NYC um, Smoother Natural Matte Powder Foundation. Because I have combination slash oily skin, um, I need something to mattify my skin. All I'm just doing is I'm just rubbing it on my nose because my this, this that's where my pores are like really disgusting. And this is in the colour Urban Light. Can you see that? Urban Light. It's just there. Okay, so, but what, it comes with a sponge, but I use a brush and I just rub it around, just apply it all over my face. I do have another one of these, but it's a more high-end product. I have a Stila one, um, the Stila Angel Light Whitening Powder Foundation, which really does work on my skin, but I don't really use that one much because I love it so much. I love this one too, but I'm going to repurchase this one. Definitely. Um, the other products I can't live without is this, which is the mirror that I used right at the beginning. This is the Estee Lauder Gelux Compact. I can't live without blush or bronzer. This one is Nude Rose, Rosewood, Pink Kiss or bronzer in shade number one. I love bronzer in the summer. I love blush, like lighter blush colours in the winter. But blush adds colour to my face. Because I have kind of really weird skin, whenever I put foundation on my skin just looks like... Um, it's quite pale. Because I have dark hair, it's quite pale. My skin looks really pale, so, yeah. The penultimate product is a decent eyeshadow palette with more than one colour in it. I can't live without little eyeshadow palettes with more than one colour. This is the palette that I've been using a lot of. It's the Smoky Eyes Palette by Collection 2000, or Collection, whatever you want to call them. But I've hit pan on most of the products. I don't think I've hit pan on this eyeshadow yet. No. There's only two eyeshadows, these two, which I haven't hit pan on yet. These ones I'm starting to run out of, which is kind of sad really. Especially this brown one, because I use this one on my brows sometimes. So yeah. But I know some people say I can't live without eyeliner, but you can double this up as an eyeliner. And I had to get a new one, a new palette, just in case if I run out of it. And it looks shiny and new and amazing. But I'm not going to use this yet until i finished my other one. This one has like a peel... It's still got the sticker on it. So yeah, can't live without an eyeshadow palette with neutral colours. And then I can't live without mascara. This is just one that I found in my bag. I don't know where I got this one. This is just a freebie one. But this is the brush of it. And I'm wearing this one today. I'm wearing it on my eyes right now. Um, I'm not wearing tons of it though. Just put a bit more on. I'll put a bit more on while I'm doing the next question. Uh, do you dare to go barefaced? Now... Yes, I do, actually. I do dare to go barefaced. I don't really wear makeup all the time. Because sometimes I go to college, I don't wear makeup. Most of the time when I'm at college, I don't wear makeup. Um, and today, I'm really not wearing that much. I'm only wearing a little bit of powder foundation, a little bit of lip butter, and a little bit of mascara. And then I also tried to do my brows this morning, just to test a different shape for my brows. So this is the shape I came up with. So what do you guys, what do you guys think of that? If you like my brows like this, I will probably do a brow tutorial about how to do this um, in the future. So it took me a while to do it and I had to pluck my brows this morning and it really hurt. So yeah, this is just, but me, it's a bare face. This is just me walking down the street. This is what, how I look. And I look really bare faced and really pale, but <laughs> I don't have time to put makeup on every day. So I do dare to go bare faced. 
Um, what is your favourite nail colour or nail look? I love magnetic nails. I love glittery nail polish so, so much as well. Glitter, glitter, glitter. And um, little beads or cracking nail polish, like different nail effects. Nail art. I love to paint little nail art on. I did one for St. Patrick's Day, um, which I had an Irish flag. I had a shamrock on this finger. I had a pot of gold. And I had little sparkles on my fingers. And, oh, it looks so cool. Um, but I like to do random nail effects. I don't do nail tutorials though because I can never find a way of putting my camera in a position where I can do that. So, not really a nail tutorial at any point. But my favourite nail colours are like darker colours. Um, I don't really wear light colours on my nails, like pastel colours. I prefer to wear darker colours on my nails. Do you prefer your hair up or down? I prefer my hair down because I don't think it suits me. Um, but I do like to put my hair up, like today I have put my hair up. Um, you know, some people say, oh, it suits me. I do like to put my hair up in a bun sometimes, or like this. I do have a lot of favourite hairstyles, but most of the time I just keep it down because it's easier. Um, but I love, I, I don't mind. Um, what are your favourite hair products? My favourite hair product at the moment is the Percy and Reed London Quite Frankly Flawless Hair Finishing Polish. This is what it looks like. And it says, Caution may turn heads and sh that's the person and I really really like it. So I actually got as a, this as a freebie with glamour I have tried this and I'm going to show you how it works basically my hair is quite messy so yeah I'm just messing my hair up all you do is just take a little bit of this you only need about that much you don't need loads okay this is, I think this is the first time I'm trying it yes yeah, this is the first time so here we go I'm going to try and smooth this out Please work, please work, please work. See all my flyaways, please. Oh wow! It's actually done it! <coughs> it's actually sealed my hair down. That, oh wow, that's worked really well. I really like that. You're seeing this for the first time, YouTube. I love this. Um, I just said this because I thought, oh yeah, I'll just say I like it because it's a designer brand. No, I actually really like it. Um, I also like to use Batiste dry shampoo as well, so, yeah. <laughs> so, actually, that is actually the first time I've heard it. I thought I'd just come on and say I liked it, but then, like, God, I'm such a, I'm such a scatterbrain sometimes. Um, what are your best fashion and beauty tips? Um, my best fashion tip is just wear whatever you want. It doesn't matter. And also mix it up. You don't really want to stick in one place. Like some days I'll just wear like a hippie dress and then like, you know, put some punky jewellery on. I'll punky makeup on that. And then it'll look really creepy. Or I'll wear Converse and a dress. Um, I have actually done that, like a little mini dress. Like it looks really cute. Um, but my biggest um, fashion tip is like, don't, like, be prepared to take risks. Like, you know? And then my biggest beauty tip is always take your makeup off at night. I use these little things. This is a cupcake mini wet wipes. This is a strawberry fragrance. This is by MPW. Yeah, this is by MPW, and they're really, really. This is just a sample size, but I've tried these and I really, really like them. Um, but I love wet wipes. I love taking my makeup off, and also like. Try and like cleanse your skin because then that will get rid of the dirt. But if you're just really lazy like me, just use these. And then like you don't have to be like really extravagant with your makeup every day. Just try and keep it simple like me. See? I'm just done simple makeup and I feel fine. Um, and the last question. This is just a funny question. Do you own a onesie? And the answer to that is yes, I do. I do own a onesie. I know some of you... If you know me from college, you'll probably have seen me walking around college in an Eeyore onesie. Um, I did wear an Eeyore onesie. Um, it was for children in need, and I walked around in it. I still have it, and it's really comfy, and I feel really lazy, because Eeyore comes across as quite a lazy character, and, you know, I like to be lazy. You know, it's kind of fun. Um, today is a lazy day for me, because the, so the snow is pretty nasty, but it's clearing, and, you know, it's all good, and... Yeah, I'm happy. So, uh, yep, that is the end of the video, and this is the end of my You Need to Do It Laura style. So, I'll, let me know your style choices. I would love to see your video responses, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye!